In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the next type of constraint, the tangent constraint. Click constraint, and you have the tangent constraint here. So let's activate it. You have two types, the inside or outside, as you see in the figure. So let's select this face and this face. So we created a tangent relation between those two faces. And when you're done, click apply. So you notice here that this face is tangent to that face. But that doesn't prevent it from rotating around. So to prevent it from rotating, you can add another constraint to be the mid, as we learned, to make this face parallel to this face. Constraint made so okay. So now, when you are moving that, so we'll prevent it from rotating around itself. So, when you are adding that constraint, you can see them here related to the part you added so this is the connector number four if you expand it you will see also the mates engaged in this part as well so if you want to delete the constraint you just right click and delete or click on delete and on the tangent if you want to read it double click and here you add a dimensions let's add two so you add an offset distance of two so it's updated as well here five But for now, I'm going to delete this constraint. Control, delete. So they will be deleted also on that connector 4. 